Hello and welcome to another episode of No Weekly Waypoint. Today you are watching me uh, run through Naxxramas, a Wrath of a Lich King raid, uh, in an attempt to get two, pu two pieces of armour to complete that set of gear you just saw flash up on the screen. I will not tell you whether I was successful in doing this or not, because that would be a bit of a spoiler, wouldn't it? But yeah, if you ever want to know how to run Naxxramas in exactly 10 minutes, just watch this video. Um, except that's a lie, because this is more like a 35 minutes sped up to precisely 10 minutes. Because I can, uh, because I figured it would be weird uh, to do that. And I don't know, I don't think this was going to take quite as long as it took, but Naxxramas, I never know how to go around it in the most efficient way possible. Also, one of the pieces of gear said that it drops from... It's like a world drop from Naxxramas, which usually means you have to kill uh, random mobs within the raid to get it. But none of the random mobs within this raid dropped any kind of purple gear at all. Um, so I don't know if that was necessary or not, and I kind of gave up on doing that halfway through. But yeah, sorry if there's any weird jank with this video. I've never sped up like 35 minutes worth of footage, so if it comes out looking weird, I don't know. It looks weird in the preview window right now, but that's just because my PC is trying to process a lot more footage than will actually be rendered while we're watching this. Anywho, uh, we've got a pretty interesting week coming up on us. On Wednesday we've got a PlayStation 5 event which definitely isn't an immediate response to Xbox's uh, revelation of the Series S and their price point. Um, but yeah, that's going to be an interesting event. I'm really hoping that the uh, PS5 Digital Edition will at least be affordable or even better come with some kind of insane monthly pricing plan like the Series S is going to, but I doubt it will because Sony. On Thursday we have the final Afterlives short which is the Revendreth one and I have to wonder if we're going to get a pre-patch date with that. I don't think they typically do for our, a pre-patch date in a cinematic though. I think it's usually just like a, a blue post of hey uh, we're a week away from the pre-patch kind of thing or I don't even remember but I seem to remember it's usually fairly unceremonious even though many people are very excited about this particular pre-patch myself included. And then on Friday we have a release of Super Mario 3D All-Stars on the Switch, which I will absolutely be grabbing, uh, thanks to the digital voucher. You can see me failing at typing there, that's quite funny and embarrassing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thanks to a digital voucher I saved up for months and months and months, uh, hoping to see if these rumours were real. It turned out they weren't real and I am now going to be able to get this for no additional cost, um, apart from the one I spent about a year ago, so that's fun. Um, and I'm super excited to play Super Mario 64, Sunshine and Galaxy. I've been watching Game Grumps play Galaxy 2, uh, mostly just because, I mean, I don't want to spoil the gameplay for myself, like I don't want to watch someone play for it and then immediately play for it myself, um, but I know that Galaxy 2 is more of a a sequel based on new levels and it is based on changing up game design so I can basically watch them play Galaxy 2 and get an idea of what Galaxy is going to be like without actually uh, getting bored from playing the thing I just watched someone else play. So yeah that was pretty fun I've been doing that. I've also been playing a huge amount of World of Warcraft because uh, I had a week off uh, and that's what you do on weeks off and I also <laughs> uh, played a lot of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 I've basically finished all the main stuff there is to do in that game but there's a whole bunch more I could be doing if I want to get a platinum trophy which I probably will be doing as I go along but I'm, I'm definitely slowing down on playing that game now boy oh boy what a fucking remake though hell yes last week I was so caught up in how much I love that remake that I forgot to talk about anything else that happened in my week and I no longer remember what happened in the week before last because honestly who has that kind of brain capacity so sorry future me watching these because his brain's gone to shit and he can no longer remember anything about his past you're gonna have to go a week without knowing what happened in your life but don't worry bud you know you never reveal anything of substance in these videos oh did I say that part out loud oh I should probably edit that out but yeah, it's going to be an exciting week coming up in video games, uh, which is cool. I like that there's so many events and news things and video game releases to look forward to around this time of the year. Uh, or not even around this time of the year, but just like this particular year. Um, it seems to have been pretty, like, I think it's probably because E3 got axed and people just drop fed us their news announcements throughout the year. But yeah, it's been pretty nice just to always have something to think about, look forward to, discuss, that kind of a thing. I very much enjoyed it. Um, if E3 went away next year, pfft, I wouldn't be too sad to be honest, even though I do like the big 
wow, look at the big gaming event kind of stuff. It's just been nice to have it drip fed to us, I don't know. Another bit of news, for example, that got dropped on us was something I never thought I would see, and that's that Minecraft on PS4 is getting PlayStation VR support. And as someone who owns Minecraft on PS4, and as somebody who owns a PlayStation VR, and the fact that it's a free update, I am very excited. I've wanted to play Minecraft in VR for a very long time now, um, but I never ever thought we would get a PSVR version of it purely because it is now a Microsoft product, and why the hell would they ever throw PlayStation gamers a bone? But then when you look at what Microsoft have been up to lately, you realise that they're more interested in software sales than they are in brand loyalty, if you know what I mean, and having people be like, oh, I need that Xbox. Uh, I, I need to have that Xbox hardware kind of a thing. It's more like, nah, if you buy our stuff on any platform, you're good. And I guess that extends to having a PSVR version of Minecraft. Uh, because while that's going to help sell PSVR units, undoubtedly, um, that's also going to help Microsoft make some more dosh by way of Mojang. But as someone who has played Minecraft on and off for years and years now, and who has been interested in it in like a decade, in almost as long as it's been around, um, I'm super excited to play Minecraft in VR. I'm sure it will be janky and imperfect because it's PSVR, it will be slightly blurry. I won't have a huge amount of room to like look around and stuff. And also it seems like they're not using PlayStation Move controllers, it's all going to be the DualShock 4, kind of like a sat down VR experience, which is kind of a shame. Um, but at this point I don't really care, I just want to I just want to see what my reaction is like when I walk around a corner and there's a creeper in my face, you know? And that's why I'm going to be streaming it. Uh, the first time I boot up Minecraft in PlayStation VR, I will be streaming it. And I have streamed PlayStation VR titles before. I've streamed some No Man's Sky in VR, and I believe I've streamed some Skyrim in VR? Um, but it's been a while since I've streamed any kind of VR, so this will be interesting. I don't know when Minecraft VR is coming out, but check twitch.tv slash Kodigri. Uh, follow that and you'll see when I'm live with it. So there's that. Also, uh, speaking of non sequiturs, something I've been doing tonight, I was going to say lately, but really it is just tonight, is um, you'll remember, uh, because of course you will, you're a diehard fan of mine and you watch everything I do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you'll remember um, I've got this Spotify playlist with loads of video game and movie and anime. Well, not even anime because there's no anime soundtracks on Spotify apart from um, a little bit of My Hero Academia. But that's besides the point. Basically, I finally decided to cave in and make a separate YouTube playlist, which is basically the same thing, but for all of the stuff that isn't on Spotify. So basically, um, anything Japanese like Nintendo and anime and anything post PS3 era uh, gaming, uh, post, sorry, pre PS3 era gaming. Uh, basically I was watching someone stream through Jack and Daxter for the first time in ages and I remembered how much I love the music in that game and I was like, you know what, all of the reasons for me to not make this YouTube playlist, uh, which I've now called Unofficial Multiversal Melodies because the Spotify playlist is called, well, you guessed it. Um, all of the reasons have been stuff like, oh yeah, but what if, you know, those videos get taken down or deleted by the user and then they won't be watchable anymore and then I'll have an incomplete playlist. Uh, I've decided I'll just like write down the videos, like the order of videos I've got there. So if it one goes deleted, I'll know which one it is and I can go fetch a replacement if it bothers me. You know, I might as well do it because as I've been doing it, I've been realising just how much there is to get and how much fun it is to do this because I loved doing a Multiversal Melodies playlist and now I don't have, sorry, <laughs> I kind of, I kind of choked on my own saliva there. But now I don't have a shackles of waiting for official releases of stuff or Spotify releases of stuff to wait for so I can just do it that way. So far I have Ratchet and Clank 1, 2, 3 and Gladiator which is deadlocked if you're a heathen. Uh, on there. I'm going to go through Jack and Daxter now, but I've just been thinking through all the PS2 games I used to play, like uh, Rayman M has a cracking soundtrack for some reason, um, Midnight Club, like racing games, like the stuff like that, like actual like original soundtrack parts to that game, not like the songs they put in for the radio, all that kind of stuff. There's so much potential for this playlist, and that's not even thinking about like anime and Nintendo games, like all the Super Mario stuff. Um, maybe they'll release the Super Mario soundtracks onto Spotify, given that they're technically digitally releasing them with the Mario All-Stars 3D collection, but I doubt it, it is Nintendo. Either way, we're finally coming to the end of this um, absurd video, uh, which 
have you even been able to follow what's going on? I'm very sorry. I did record 35 minutes of it, so I'm not chucking it in the bin. Um, but yeah, I got nothing. I basically got nothing from that entire thing. What a waste of time. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode. I will see you in the next one. And by the way, I learned that doing this on the PlayStation 4 where I talk after the video's over just gets rid of the commentary after the video's over. But on this one, I can just put a little black and white screen and continue it onwards. So wicked.